Welcome everybody. Today we're going to try to do a quick video and we're going to enable the Google Drive integration in a Kobo Clara BW. Come on, wake up. As you can see, this thing does not have um, Google Drive integrated like the Kobo Libre does, but there's a way to get it working here. And for that, we need a program called um, Nickel Menu. And I'm going to show you how to install that right now. You go into your into your Google, and you do a regular nickel menu search in your Google browser. You're going to be uh, presented with a pgaskin.net. You're going to go in there. This is the main download for nickel menu. However, since we're going to have to, we're doing some something that is not still part of the uh, stable release we're going to go into github you're going to go into actions and you're going to look for a release build number 775 the one that says support google drive okay you're going to click on that scroll all the way down and to your right and you're going to download the nickel menu into your computer all right so once you have it downloaded, we will close this window right here. And we're going to open up our downloads folder. Downloads. Press. So you're going to be, uh, you're going to have the nickel menu that zip. You're going to right click that and you're going to unzip it. Okay. Let's track it right there then you're going to be you're going to find yourself with a cobalt.root um, file so we're going to move that to the left and we're going to plug in our cobalt all right where is my usb cable correct Sorry about that with the camera. We're gonna plug this puppy in. Connect to the computer. Switch over to the computer again. This is our, this is the inside of our Kobo right now. If you don't see the uh, that Kobo um, folders, you need to make sure that you uh, set your windows to see hidden folders. So you go into that Kobo, and in here you're gonna drag the one that we just um, extracted, that Kobo root file. You're gonna drag it into that section inside the Kobo, and then we're gonna right click on the Kobo itself and eject it. Once you do that. You switch over to your Kobo and it starts doing the update. I'll come back when that's done. It's going to reboot itself and then you'll, I'll come back. Okay, so once it reboots, you're going to see that we have the uh, a new menu. It says Nickel Menu. If you click it, you only have that. It just takes you nowhere because we have we haven't configured it. Okay, so we're gonna plug it again back to the computer. So I'm gonna unplug and replug. And we're gonna modify three lines. Go back to the computer. All right, so first we're gonna go you're going to notice that you have a new folder called ads inside that folder. You're going to have an NM folder and you're going to have a single doc. You're going to right click that and open it with your favorite um, text editor. Okay. Inside that folder, you have a whole bunch of instructions and you get to read those when you, when you have a chance. But right now we're just going to, to the last section, doesn't matter where, just the last line, you're going to add the following line i'm going to copy these three lines in the video description so this line goes here that's the menu item it's going to create a menu called google drive so we're going to save that and close that file 
Then we're going to go back into our COBOL, into the dot COBOL folder, inside that folder, into the COBOL folder. And you're going to open up and edit the COBOL ereader.conf. So open that up with our favorite um, text editor. And I'm going to look for a line that starts with the word Google. So it's under the one store services. You're going to find it. It says here, Google Drive start link account. Uh, Google Drive link account start. You see that it's empty. We're going to change this line to this line. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to copy this line to the description. We're going to go here and we're going to just replace that line. All that we're doing is we're adding an actual location in the in the Kobo uh, website. And then you scroll down just a few more and you're going to find the one that says Kobo Google Drive link account enable. And this is set to false. We're going to change this to true with a capital T. Okay, and then we'll just save the file. And that's all we need to do. Close this. We're going to eject the COBOL. Okay, and this time we're going to need to, we're going to unplug it. Okay, and we're going to need to turn it off and turn it back on, like completely. So we want to press the power button, hold it, and this is power off. And then we're just going to wait a few seconds and then just press the power button one more time. The little light turns on and we wait until it reboots. So I'll be back. All right, so you reboot it. And now if you look at your nickel menu, you click it now, you have Google Drive, right? And in the menu. All right, so before we click that, we're just going to open up our website for the uh, Kobo itself. We're going to go to Kobo dot com and we're going to go to cobo.com forward slash google drive okay then we go back to our nickel menu hit google drive hit get started and then we go back to our computer and we punch in that code that we just got on the Kobo. You should get a different code. So, you just follow the follow the yellow big road. Accept. You pick your your account. You allow everything. Continue. And then. You're done. And when you switch over to your Kobo, it says that the Kobo is now linked. Scroll up, go to my Google Drive. And those two files are currently in my Google Drive, as you can see. And whatever I drop in there, if I were to drop in, let's say that uh, that root folder right there, which is huge, but. And then I go back into my Kobo. And then I do a refresh, I go back out, and then I go back in. Now you have three files in there, just like you see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's it. That's it for getting a, or if you want to ensure that it works, that's a book. I'm going to hit that book right there. Touch it. It starts to download it. Done. Click it again. It opens the book. There we go. And that book is now part of my books. Go to my books. That is my books, not mine. And that's the last book that I added. That's it. Hopefully this uh you find this thing useful. And uh see you guys in the next time.